pressure. Pressure is produced when a force acts on an object. If we push our thumb hard on a piece of wood, the thumb does not go into the wood. But if we push a drawing pin into the wood with the same force of our thumb, the drawing pin goes into the wood. Although the force applied on the wood is almost the same in both the cases, the drawing pin has a much smaller area of contact as compared to our thumb. This means that in the case of the drawing pin, the area over which the force acts is smaller and therefore its effect on the wood is much greater. It goes into the wood. This is because of a physical quantity called pressure. The drawing pin goes into the wood due to the sharp tip. The force of thumb falls on a very small area of the wood, due to which force per unit area or pressure on the wood becomes very large. Thus, the effect of a force depends on the area of the object on which it acts. Applications of pressure. A heavy truck is fitted with 6 to 8 wheels. These wheels increase the area of contact on which their weight acts and hence reduce their pressure on the ground. Skiers use long flat skis to slide over snow. The larger the area of contact, the lesser is the pressure on the snow, enabling the skier to slide over the snow without sinking in the snow. The cutting edge of knives, blades, axes, etc. are sharpened. As the cutting edge is sharpened, the area of contact decreases and hence pressure exerted by them increases. Foundations of high-rise buildings are kept wide so that they exert less pressure on the ground and do not sink in due to the extremely high pressure of the building. The tip of a sewing needle is sharp and pointed. This may put the force on a very small area of the cloth, producing a large pressure sufficient to pierce the cloth being stitched. A school bag has wide straps made of thick cloth canvas so that the weight of the bag may fall over a large area of the shoulder of the child, producing less pressure on the shoulder, making it more comfortable to carry the heavy school bag. A white steel belt is provided over the wheels of army tanks so that they exert less pressure on the ground and do not sink into it. Pressure exerted by liquids. All the liquids have weight, so when we pour a liquid into a vessel, the weight of liquid contained in the vessel exerts pressure on its walls and bottom. Let us perform the following activities to know more about liquid pressure. Applications of liquid pressure The wall of a dam is made thicker at the bottom. Since water pressure increases with depth, the wall of a dam is made thicker at the bottom. A thicker wall can withstand a greater pressure exerted by the water at greater depth. Water supply tank is placed at a high place in the building. The water supply tanks are placed generally on the terrace on top of the buildings. This is because as the tanks are placed at a greater height, the pressure of water will be large enough to force the water to reach the taps of the houses. Atmospheric pressure. We live on the earth and there is a lot of air around us. The layer of air surrounding our earth is called atmosphere. The air in our atmosphere extends up to a height of about 300 kilometers above the surface of the earth. Air has weight so it creates pressure on the objects below. The pressure exerted by the air due to weight is known as atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure on the Earth's surface at sea level is about 100 kilopascals, 100 kPa. If such an enormous amount of pressure is acting on us, why do we not feel it? This is because the pressure of the blood in the blood vessels and other fluids present in the body balance out the atmospheric pressure. 
applications of air pressure drinking straw we normally use a drinking straw to suck up fruit juice when we suck air at the upper end of the straw with our mouth the pressure of the air inside the straw is reduced but the pressure acting on the surface of the fruit juice is equal to the atmospheric pressure so the greater atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the fruit juice pushes the fruit juice up the straw into our mouth syringe when the nozzle of a syringe is dipped in a liquid and its position is withdrawn the pressure inside the syringe is lowered the greater atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the liquid pushes the liquid up into the syringe rubber suction pad rubber suction pads are used on the walls to hang clothes and calendars when moistened rubber suction pad is pressed against the wall the air between the suction pad and the wall is forced out reducing the pressure inside the outer atmospheric pressure being greater pushes the suction pad firmly and it adheres to the surface of the wall